I think we are going to go to the brink and then we're going to scurry like crazy to address, for example, sea level rise. We're going to have massive, massive migration of populations. The current disastrous migration out of Ukraine is a bit of a precursor of what we will see multiplying many orders of magnitude as people move from flooded coastlines where most of us have settled. Inland will find the tremendous stressors associated with the migration, large migration of people throughout the world. Bangladesh has already seen it. The Prime Minister of Bangladesh has decreed that if your lands have been flooded, you cannot move back when it has receded because the flooding, it's not just a one thing, it comes with a tide. They've already lost some of the territory of that small country with huge populations of individuals, 200 million according to the State Department, in a country that's smaller than most of our states. So we'll see some very tragic consequences and uh, typically human will respond with a modicum of success, not with tremendous success, but with a modicum of success. And so I suspect we will, as a species, survive, but it may not be the most pleasant of survival environmental phenomena as we would wish. But the time frame is short. Uh, the changes are rapid. The scientists tried to be conservative and not um, did not want to become alarmist. The problem is that the change is occurring faster than predicted and multiplying as it changes so that we now are facing some pretty drastic conditions in the environment. Very severe heat waves, sea level rise, of course. I hate to think about what will happen because some of the changes are going to be really drastic. We are already seeing increase in tornadoes, severity of storms, uh, increase in hurricanes. We'll find that parts of our country, parts of the world will be, become uninhabitable, which again speaks to the migration of populations. All that comes with massive migration without the assistance that you need to accommodate it.